Hello. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Hottest Fuck Podcast. Uh, I'm just, I don't know why I just call it a podcast, because this isn't going to be on YouTube. Nothing else. Just on YouTube. Uh, I'm not even doing this live right now, because I don't feel like having my computer on. Um, it's very warm up in my room. I live in Sacramento, and it is warm in Sacramento. And the AC in the house that I am renting a room in is not working. So, uh, I kind of figured like I should do just to get prepared to, to put up a video um, today, since I want to do at least one video a day. Um, so surprise, my video is not really a video, it's more of an audio thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be showing. I'm thinking right now uh, that maybe I would show some video game footage, because that's a thing people do. Um, <laughs> uh, I watched this guy, the Lazy Peon, he's, he's cool. He does a lot of podcasts where he talks about something and then we're just watching random footage of him playing a game or something. And, you know, that's a thing people do. They're just like, oh, well, whatever. Let me just do an audio thing and put up some footage of me playing a video game because that makes sense. So, um, yeah. Here I am. I'm toasty warm. I figured I should uh, talk about a little bit about what I'm... I hope I'm not, like, peeking or anything. I'm checking the levels right now talk a little bit about uh, what I am working on. Maybe I'll lean back just a little bit here, just a little bit. I don't know. Should probably not get so far away from the microphone, but um, it's so tempting to get away from the microphone. I want to lean back and talk. Uh, let's see here. What can I do? I don't know. I guess I could just lean back and talk, right? All right, so the, the levels are gonna change a little bit, I guess. Um, so let me let me adjust this microphone. Anyway, I was gonna talk about a little bit about what we got going on on this channel. What I have been working on uh, with or without the channel, I don't care. Really, it's just kind of like, you know, the channel's like a platform for me. It's something I can use to just sort of get some stuff out there. Um, and it's awesome, but it's also like, you know, it's a, something that me and my friends started and it's kind of ours and we can, you know, we're, we're, we should all be able to like use it however we want. Um, so it's, but I've been putting out most of the content recently cause I've just been on a kick of like getting a lot of stuff done. Um, and yeah, so I, and I'm trying I uh, got been trying for so long to get like just you know any decent sort of film done been kind of distracted by a lot of projects that I think I didn't really have a lot of um, a lot of my heart invested in, in and uh, and it was nice it was good practice and everything but now it's like I I'm definitely old enough that it's time for me to really like if I'm gonna be a filmmaker I should what the hell is that sound the, there's a really weird high-pitched sound coming around here. Okay, I don't know what that was, but um, yeah, so basically I'm just thinking like, you know, it's time for me to really make some, some films if I'm going to be a filmmaker or some video games, if I'm going to be a video game, you know, maker. And I, I, I would always want to be, you know, I guess the ego in me wants, you know, to do something new. Here, I'm going to make a sound here by adjusting the microphone. So, the ego in me wants to make, you know, something that's that's new and fresh. And I think that's, that's, that's fine. That seems like a good thing to do, right? Um, like... Even if it even if it is a selfish motivation, like it's still noble in the sense that like it, it, to that's cool, you know. I think people want to see progress. They want to see things that they haven't seen before, 
and it might not be progress it might just be something different and stupid you know and like a lot stupider than things that have come before but but the it's it's good i think for artists and for people that want to be creative and want to entertain to put something out there that is different and i don't think it's enough that it's you like i mean everyone could do like the same type of video and they'd all arguably be different because they're made by different people but um you know, and I guess that's a way of doing it, but I, I've always wanted to do whatever I can to figure out, like, something really, like, new to do and be able to progress, but, you know, I've never had, like, the money or resources or, you know, been successful enough in any field to, to, to get into a position where I feel I could actually, like, contribute in a meaningful way to, um, the realm of entertainment or, or art, um, you know, it's like anyone can write a book, right? Like I could, I could write, you don't need a lot of resources to write something, but I'm not much of a writer. I haven't written anything, um, really. Um, I think I could write something, but I don't know what I would do that's new in that realm. And, uh, I can imagine some things that are new or that are better, you know, that, that are in the realm of watching a movie or playing a video game or something in between those two things, or, you know, something, I don't know what I, I'm so always like fixated or, or in, interested in what the, um, what like the next thing is going to be. Cause it's like the new thing is interactive entertainment, right? Video games. You know, that's only been around since like, well, as we know it today, it's only been around since like the 70s. And you know, the the um, like movies have only been around for like a hundred years. And you know, these types of experiences are I think I think you can kind of just say that they're this a similar type of experience except one is a passive experience and one's an active experience and they're kind of almost the same thing except just you know it's just about it's a visual experience right Mo mostly British visual and auditory experience um uh you're you're accepting a story in a visual a visual and audio way um and it's basically you can tell that I'm pretty <laughs> It's pretty hot in here, so I might go a little. This might go a little bit weird, just because I'm. Um, so, <laughs> welcome to the Patrick is <laughs> roasting in a room <laughs> podcast. Um, so, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know exactly where. Anyway, I've I've just been interested in what's the next thing, right? So, like, if video games are like the current best form of entertainment, which I think they are. Um, and they're going to be amazing as soon as they start looking more like reality. Um, and then virtual reality is happening and that, that's, that's very interesting and there should definitely continue to be innovation there. And that's, you know, probably the next step, right? But I'm still trying to figure out exactly like where, where I want to be. And I guess I can't really do that. All I have to do is, you know, the best thing I can do to understand where I want to be in that whole scheme of things is not really possible, probably. So I have to keep reminding myself that I need to, you know, get stuff done. And that's that's kind of where and just get it done, you know, and make sure that it's from my imagination. And, you know, if I want to if I feel like I'm not making which I have been, I feel been feeling like over the last, you know, bunch of my life, I've not really been making stuff that's like coming from me um as much as i wanted you know um and i was kind of just doing videos and helping people do videos and you know doing stuff that's sort of my stuff but still also sort of other people's stuff and and wasn't ever true to any vision that i ever had you know um 
And I really need to focus on like uh, accomplishing some of the visions that I have because I think some of them are pretty decent so far. Um, and you know, I, I bits and the visions come to me in like bits and pieces. I've never actually like envisioned an entire film or an entire video game or anything like that. But but aspects definitely. I'm sure this is true for everyone else too. Like you know, aspects of certain video games will inspire you to think of something that's better that's like has never happened before um, and would be way better and amazing but it's only a little snippet that you can think of you can't actually in, uh, think of the entire thing and I don't think that's possible to actually think of the entire piece of art um, but I do need to give you know treat those thoughts seriously so that I actually turn them into something that involves that you know um, so anyway, I've uh, been working on a lot of stuff. As soon as it cools down today, I'm going to be uh, going, uh, trying to get some editing done. Uh, I've been editing a fight scene, which is not very original or you know special in any way, other than it is a lot of fun to make. And I think it'll be a lot of fun to watch for a couple minutes. Um, um, and, but it, yeah, it looks like every other low budget fight scene uh, done on YouTube. Um, Although I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of in the style of like a, it doesn't take itself seriously. I hate it when those low budget, I don't know. It's just, it, it it's so obvious when, when a filmmaker takes himself way too seriously as far as like in, in the YouTube scene and low budget stuff. It's like, ah, uh, like, do they know, do they get it? Like, do, do they see that it's not as, you know, as good as they think it is or I don't know, but it's like if you don't take yourself seriously, it's, it's easy to get around that problem, I guess a little bit easier. So that, that's why I guess it's, it's easy to go the comedy direction. Right. But like, um, the, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the fight scene is, it's kind of like a Looney Tunes type thing. It's like, anyway, it's, 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 uh, it's cool. You know, what's, what's good about it is that what, why I want to finish it. Um, one, uh, Wes, the guy that I filmed it with, like, figured, like, hey, we should at least finish this because, you know, it was part of a larger video that I wasn't really in love with, even though it was my idea and <laughs> pretty much, like, yeah, it was, it was a lot, it was a lot of stuff that I was thinking of, but then I ended up not really liking it. Um, yeah, but we, it ends with this fight scene and, and the fight scene is, is decent actually i think it's fun it's definitely fun to see at least once but it's you know it's only it's only like one or one and a half minutes or something um and i've been working on it for so long um uh but you know not constantly but that's kind of the last like you know couple weeks i have been working on it a little bit um and and i just have to keep that momentum up so i can finish this uh then i got another thing that's like a review of like terminator 2 um, and then, and that's kind of involved, it involves my new camera, my new camera that I got like over a year ago. Um, there's, yeah, and there's another project that involves that, uh, that camera that's, uh, kind of, I want to leave as a secret because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise to people that are watching. Um, so, and there's, yeah, so I got two, like three projects going right now that I just got to edit. Um, and then, you know, I just have to find the time and energy to, to just keep going and stop, you know, getting distracted so much. Although, although I love learning new things and, you know, it's cool to just kind of browse around on YouTube and see whatever, you know, what cool things there are to learn. Um, you know, what, and, you know, so it's, it's, and it's fun to just watch things, you know, but I always get the most satisfaction out of watching things when I feel like I'm getting some sort of, you know, knowledge from it. Um, although sometimes I do just need to unwind too, obviously. So like the, you know, I've been watching, been watching some movies recently and, uh, saw a cool one with Patrick Stewart, uh, about, uh, some kids that get, uh, are trying to be, trying to escape some, some white supremacists that are trying to kill them. Uh, so that was a intense and yet kind of, kind of meaningless film. I don't know. It was weird. I, I started thinking after that film. It's like it's interesting how slasher films can sometimes be very effective, but when they don't have anything to say, 
it almost just seems pointless after it's done. Um, you know, and I'm not trying to say like art should be one thing or another, but I do hope when I watch a film that it has some sort of message or some sort of thing that it's trying to convey. Um, for it to be just a tense experience while it's happening and then when it's done, it's just done. And there further be no interesting twists. You know, they might be all unexpected because it's impossible to expect exactly what the twist will be. Um, but for them, to, when they happen to be sort of normal and mundane and not at all surprising, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, so yeah, it's an effective, tense thriller, but when it's all done, it's like, oh yeah, well, we just witnessed a thing that happened. I guess it's 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 good in the sense that, what's it called? It's called the green room, right? Okay, so it's good in the sense that it does feel very down to earth. It feels, it, they do a good job of suspending disbelief. I don't know if anything like that could actually happen or has actually happened, but they do a very good job of suspending disbelief. Um, because it feels pretty real, and when it's done, it kind of feels like, oh, well, I just watched a terrible thing happen. Um, you know, that could have actually happened. Um, so that's good. But at the same time, that kind of makes it a little bit too mundane. Like, it's so realistic feeling that it just feels like you watched a car accident happen. And that's it. You know, and, and, and it's... <sighs> And the little bit of writing and character development that is in the movie is really lacking. So it's, yeah, that, that movie wasn't, I mean, it worked, but then at the end, it's like, you better give me something at the end, you know? Like, because you're, you're stringing me along with the tension, but at the end, there better be something. <laughs> something interesting. Um, like that Robert McKee guy said in that movie, uh, <laughs> wow them in the end. <laughs> and they can forgive you for all the stuff that came before. Um, so, okay, gotta keep, gotta keep moving. So this is gonna, this is, I guess this has just been kind of a random update on what's happening uh, with this channel and with, uh, with me. Uh, so, you know, um, I'm hoping to get back into learning some video game stuff too recently, so, um, because I was really intrigued by a lot of that stuff and that's why I'm kind of doing, gonna be doing the Doom Building series a little bit more, but man, it first has to cool down so I can get back to working tonight. So I'm just gonna try to conserve my energy, um, wait for it to cool down a little bit, and uh, cause the AC's not working, I'm in an upstairs room and this is, yeah, pretty bad, so. All right, uh, this will probably go up at some point. I don't know exactly when, um, but there it is. It's another video that I can upload. All right, later guys.